Maureen, what is the fifth dimension? Fifth dimension is a vibrational data set that we are all becoming. It is the same as what I would call the ascension. So the fifth dimension is that place that we are becoming where we're going to become the ascended masters. So we're all becoming ascended masters, whether we're ready or not. And I think that's funny because a lot of people don't realize that they're becoming an ascended master. Is there a fourth dimension? Yes, there is. What's that? Um, I like why do we say, skip that? <laughs> I like to say it's like Grand Central. You don't want to go there to spend the night. It's <laughs> the place you go to where um, there are emotional feelings. It's still polarity, but it's much faster than this 3D environment we're in. So our thoughts become reality much faster. And we've seen it in movies depicted where we, we see someone who has shifted into a lower vibration and they're, it's, they're scared all the time. And that fourth dimensional vibration is a way shower into the fifth. So it's very close to third, but because it moves so fast, if you're moving up, you move right up into fifth. If you're moving down, you kind of decelerate into a lower level of fourth. So it's easier to jump from the third dimension to the fifth dimension mm -hmm. Just and like bypass in music. the fourth. Just like in music. You know, those of you who are listening who are musicians, you know that the major triad 135 is very easy to sing or say, but when you land on that fourth and you hold it, you want to go down to the third or you want to go back up to the fifth and then the fifth takes you to the octave. How do you move into these dimensions? You make clear intention that you're going to do it. And that's something that's very interesting because just by saying, I want to wake up in 5D, it makes a difference. You act proactively. So you choose words that are allowing you to express what's really going on in your world rather than a, a negative way of putting it. So people who fly at night on an overnight flight, they might call it the red eye or you could call it the shut eye. You see, so there's <laughs> fun ways to do that. What is 5D exactly? I believe 5D is the vibration that we emanate when we're in our place of joy, when we're in our hearts and we're aligned with our divine plan. It's like this, when, you, when you, someone comes to your door, maybe it's your neighbor and you know them, but you weren't expecting them, you're gonna say, well, come on in, have a cup of coffee or something with me. You wouldn't think to not do that. That's how we That's look at- being polite. You're being polite. So in 5D, all the choices that are hurtful don't occur to us. And in 5D, I'm so sensitive to the person that's, and I don't just mean me, anyone when they're vibrating at 5D, they're aware that the next thing they say might be hurtful. And so they change their words or different words come out of their mouth. Is there a 6D? Yes, there is. And that's where we go when we're dreaming. 